In this week's You Can Project, we're going to turn these soda cans into a functioning jet stove. Yeah, that's right. This pocket-sized stove works by using the basic principles of a jet engine, thus the name jet stove. It's a perfect stove that you can bring with you while traveling. Whether you're preparing for a calamity or going to the vast wilderness, like from my recent trip to Iceland, this thing works like a charm. It's easy and very convenient to build. This project is in collaboration with the North Face. There are two main things that you need for this project. The first one would be a utility knife. The one I have here is a Leatherman multi-tool. If you don't have one, you can use any kind of generic Swiss Army utility knife that you can get your hands on. The second thing you'll need are two identical cans of soda. Next, you'll have to empty the yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A few moments later Let's start the project by grabbing a sharpie and a ruler We're going to use a ruler for marking the measurements to the can For the first can, draw a line 1 cm from the rim For the second can on the other hand, draw a line 1.5 cm from the rim We're going to use a bunch of points as a resting piece for our sharpie to make a circular cutout template, rest your marker on top of your coins as you rotate the can. Use the utility knife from your multi-tool to puncture a hole through the can. Now let's use the scissors from your multi-tool to cut through the metal. Just be extra careful not to cut yourself. If there are some sharp edges left, trim them down using your scissors. Now you have two trimmed down soda cans, one slightly longer than the other. The goal is to combine them together, but doing so seems impossible. So you'll have to use the pliers from your multi-tool to bend the edge from the shorter can. This makes the combining process a lot easier. Once done, you can combine them together like an Oreo. This soap runs on alcohol. Once it evaporates, it turns into gas. We'll have to use super glue to seal the gaps. This prevents wasting fuel from a gas leakage. Now we'll have to start making some holes. First would be the fuel inlet. You can use a mini drill to drill around 5 holes at the center of the can. But if you don't have one, you can invade your mom's sewing kit and grab some needles. Using your multi-tool, hammer down your needle to punch some holes. Make sure they're not too big nor too small. Grab a pencil and a ruler, then mark the beveled edge of your can with a 1cm interval. This is a stencil for marking holes for the burner. Repeat the process of hammering. Then use a fine grit sandpaper to smoothen the surface of your stove. And now you have a jet stove. This stove runs on any kind of volatile fluids. Rubbing alcohol is a common choice. Although the stove works better with denatured alcohol, kerosene, acetone, or lighter fluid. Fill your stove with around 10 to 30 milliliters of the fuel of your choice. Then place a coin or a penny to seal the hole. In order to start the jet effect, we'll have to warm up the can for the liquid fuel inside to evaporate and turn into gas. This can be done by pouring fuel on your can and lighting it up. This can be really tricky at first. The swiftness of the startup heavily depends on the fuel that you are using. And now it's working. The cool thing about this stove is that the jet effect creates some pressure, making the flames resistant to wind. Twenty milliliters of alcohol should last for around 10 minutes. And that's how you make a jet stove. If you like this video, feel free to check out my other projects and press the subscribe button to stay tuned.